Now it's time to tackle your first project. I'm joined now by my colleague Andy, who's here to help you get up and running. Pleasure to have you with us, Andy. Thank you, Nick. It is a pleasure to be here. In this project, you'll program a quadrotor to fly autonomously in a simulator. The central theme of this project is a new way of thinking about how to write programs for autonomous vehicles. It's called event-driven programming, and you might have seen it before in other settings. Graphical user interfaces are written as event-driven programs, and lots of other robot systems are too. But there are some important wrinkles in writing programs for autonomous vehicles that need to operate for a long time, travel long distances, and respond to all kinds of things in the outside world. When you finish this project, you'll have the foundation you need to be set up for success in the projects throughout the rest of the program. So where are we going to start next, Andy? Well, if you're not familiar with event-driven programming, it can be a bit confusing at first. So we're going to start off by explaining the key concepts behind this entirely new way of thinking about programming. Next, we're going to show you how to actually implement event-driven programming in Python code. And that code will actually control your quadrotor in a simulator. But by far the best part is once you've actually completed the project, we're going to show you how to port that code onto a real quadcopter. That sounds fantastic. Let's get started.